Hello, 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 Taurus, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. So today we are going to take a look at your month of May for career and for love. Let's see what is going on with you. Um, and keep in mind this is a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate, you may want to check your individual elements, okay? And if it does, don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. There is going to be a link down below for a private reading, okay? So let me just give here another quick shuffle. That's it. Okay, gorgeous. So we'll get a look into this in just a second. Let's pull some shells. All right. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, we love it. So I feel like for uh, maybe most of you, there could have been something that was going on and it was a little bit uh, tough, maybe there were some struggles in your career, maybe there were some struggles in a certain relationship. I kind of feel like things are speeding up here. We have a lot of fiery energy, uh, especially with this shell here as well. Uh, so you could be dealing with a uh, with an Aries, Leo, Sag, it doesn't have to be, but I do feel like you're connecting a lot with this fiery energy. Um, so you could have very strong fire in your chart, but I do feel like, uh, you know, uh, there is going to be a lot of uh, planets in Aries, and I feel like that is going to be very significant for you. I feel like it's going to give you a push. This is essentially my Emperor uh, card in a shell, and this is the Sun card in a shell. So I do feel like there is a lot of happiness coming forward. I feel like there is a lot of motivation, especially when it comes to some sort of creative project, um, to something. It doesn't have to be cre creative. It doesn't have to be art. It doesn't have to be anything like that. I feel like it comes from your heart. I feel like it lights you up. I feel like it's something that makes you feel powerful and passionate. And it's like, this is the thing. This is the thing that I'm supposed to go towards. And I do feel like your guides are supporting you hugely when it comes to that. And you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities during the month of May. Um, definitely pay attention to them. When you see a synchronicity, what are you thinking about? What were you doing, okay? That is telling you a lot. And also I'm hearing dreams, so pay attention to them as well. And I do feel like whatever tough situation, whatever thing we're going through, that is coming to an end, okay? With this shell right here, this is about getting out of a bad situation. So I feel like May is going to be a little bit of a lighter um, month, which is curious because it's going to be quite intense astrological, uh, astrologically speaking. Uh, we even have Mercury going uh, retrograde, so um, be careful about that, <laughs> you know, just a little heads up. But uh, I do feel like when it comes to love, I feel like there is also going to be a very, uh, very fiery energy, very passionate, very electric, you know? So I feel like that is going to be gorgeous. Let's see here. Um, you could also be receiving some sort of manifestation um, here during the month of May, but let's see. So overall energy, oh yeah, we have the three of wands. And with this two of swords, it's like, I feel like a manifestation could have been a little bit blocked or you could have felt like your life was a little bit blocked. Like things are just not moving. Things are a little bit stagnant. Like how do I move forward? How do I create a movement in my life? And oh yeah, I definitely feel like you have been working quite a lot. And it's like, how can I make things forward, uh, move forward? How can I make things happen here? And so I do feel like things are going pretty damn well. I do feel like it's about taking things a little bit lighter. Okay, right now you have this Eight of Pentacles energy. So in the past, we have the Fool here, that Aries uh, energy that we were talking about. So you were taking some sort of leap of faith in career. And I feel like it was taking you, you know, I feel like you were just following your heart and being lighthearted, just going with the flow and just enjoying what life was bringing your way. And I feel like that was a beautiful thing. I do feel like then with this Eight of Pentacles in your current situation, it's almost like you started taking things a little bit too seriously. Right? And I feel like with this page of cups showing up for me, it's about connecting with that inner child. It's about reconnecting with this Aries energy and just going the flow, just seeing where it takes you, just um, being open to new ideas, being open to connecting with new people. Possibly there could be some sort of partnership here or there could be some sort of um, offer being made. And it's about like, Keep your options open, you know, see where it takes you, see what happens there, because I do feel like it's going to bring you a lot of success and a lot of abundance, okay? So let's clarify here a couple of things. I do want to take a look at this Eight of Pentacles in your current situation. Ooh. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords, we have Ten of Wands. Yeah, I thought that I, 
I was kind of picking up on that energy. Um, we have the magician, and then look at this. We have the emperor and the sun. The emperor and the sun. So that is crazy. Uh, I absolutely love that because I do feel like, again, it's that thing. I feel like you're doing great. I feel like you are on the right path. And again, you are manifesting something. You are manifesting movement. You're manifesting power. You're manifesting happiness. You're manifesting things moving forward. However, eight of swords and ten of wands. It's like you're closing yourself out, you know? And I don't think it's about perspective. I feel like it's about how you're treating yourself, how you're treating this um, career, this project, this whatever it is, you know? I feel like it is time for you to rest a little bit or at least create a little bit of a more lighthearted way to work on this, you know? Maybe your work routines, you could be going a little bit into workaholic mode. Um, I feel like it is important for you to kind of reflect a little bit back into your work routines, your schedules, your um, how you can manage your work a little bit better because I feel like it's getting a little bit too much, okay? And it's, whew, let's breathe a little bit. Let's create some space here, okay? Um, because I feel like that is actually what is creating the interference for the manifestation to come forward, okay? So try to take things a little bit um, lighter, especially with this sun energy coming forward. It is about you having fun and you just going with the flow, okay? So we have the five of cups here, clarifying that page of cups. All right, we also have the hermit and the three of swords. I kind of feel like it. it is up to you if you're going to have a good month or a bad month, you know, whatever good and bad means for you. Um, because I feel like it's going to be up to how you treat yourself. So please, please be gentle. Because with this uh, disappointment, sorrow, um, you know, five of cups, three of swords, and the hermit coming up, the hermit is a lot about what is going on on the inside. It is about your reflections. It is about your realizations. It is about on how you're guiding yourself. And I feel like the way you're um, guiding yourself, it's like, oh, this didn't work. Oh, I'm a failure. Oh, this is not uh, happening in my biggest, uh, uh, you know, in my, the, in the best way for me. This is not what I was expecting. Right, but is it that bad that it's not happening how you were, how you were expecting? What is the blessing in disguise, right? How can you see, um, like, this is not working how it was expected? What is it trying to teach you? What can you learn from this? What it is it trying to bring you forward? Maybe it is bringing forward this kind of, reform in your work habits, right? So it's about trying, trying to take a look at things from a little different perspective, right? Not putting the blame on yourself. Please be kind to yourself because I really feel like that is going to be a big thing. Please be gentle with your inner child. Take care of it, connect with it. Write a letter to your inner child saying, hey, we did our best and that is okay. That is enough, that is more than enough. And we're doing so great. Like we have accomplished this, we have accomplished this. You know, be proud, be grateful and really see your value and see your power because you do have a lot of it, okay? You do have a lot of it. So let's pull here um, a couple more cards. Are there any messages, anything, anything uh, that, that we need to know about potential outcome? All right, this one wants to come out to you. So we have manifestation that was why I was laughing <laughs> because yeah you are manifesting movement and you are like this leap of faith that you took it was the right thing for you to do okay and you were taking the practical steps towards it but I feel like it became too practical okay so I feel like it's about connecting a little bit with this fiery energy and also with this watery energy so it's essentially connecting with the opposite energy of your cusp <laughs> it's like get out of your cusp and just live life and just um, not necessarily like try to be a different person, but try to gain a different way of living. Try to um, see things in a different way, okay? And you know, it is about getting a little bit of your cusp in a way. It is, a, I feel like it's about getting a different perspective of your cusp. So instead of using the Taurus has a workaholic kind of energy, use the Taurus has a grounding, use the Taurus has a, let me breathe, let me relax, let me have fun and connect with beauty, right? Taurus is ruled by Venus the planet of love, the planet of beauty. So connect with that. And then Gemini, Gemini actually has a lot of like a big imagination. So connect with it and connect with all the good possibilities that you have, okay? 
So we also have hidden depth. So I do feel like some things could be coming to light. <laughs> and I do feel like there is, um, I do feel like there is like a realization that you're having during the month of May that I feel like it's going to help move things forward. And I really feel like this sentence that comes with it is um, quite important. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. So there is almost this thing of like, there is no light without darkness, right? Um, and I definitely feel that it is important for you to connect with it, try to figure out what is this trying to teach me and which, which wisely. So I really feel like uh, this talks about like taking practical steps towards your wishes and you're already doing it. It's just figure out how you can do it in a little bit of a different way, okay? So let's get here into love. I absolutely freaking love this because I feel like your love life is kind of taking a turn in whatever way that is. I do feel like for some of you, you could already be in a relationship um, and that relationship is definitely leveling up to the next level, whatever that is. Maybe, you know, it could be something as simple as the bond is deepening. It could be something as simple as that. Um, but I definitely feel like things are happening in such a beautiful way here. So in the past, we have the Six of Cups. I kind of feel like there is a little bit of past life uh, energy between the two of you. And I do feel like you were, um, I don't know, I feel like you were quite happy together. And I feel like you were, um, there was like, I kind of get this kind of fairy tale kind of vibe. And I feel like it was just lovely. Right now, I get a couple of things. Um, if you are in a relationship, I feel like things right now, you know, they are solid, they are stable, they are nice. However, I feel like they could be a little bit too solid, right? And that is where all of this fiery energy is coming up to shake things up, especially with judgment coming forward. It's almost like the universe is saying, hey, it's time to shake, it's time to shake things up, not in a bad way. Um, it's like it's just bringing a little bit more passion, bringing a little bit more excitement, uh, a different approach, maybe, st uh, maybe trying different types of dates, or maybe you haven't even gone on a date for some time and it's time to move with that. Um, however, for some, there could be some sort of uh, separation, you know, because Six of Cups does talk about like someone from the past, and right now you both could be very focused on career, judgment for me, so there could be some sort of reconciliation here if that is the case for you. I do feel like for your side, King of Wands, all of that passion energy coming forward, I do feel like you are taking some sort of possible um, move towards this person. I do feel like this person is opening up uh, emotionally to you. There is a lot of love from this person's side and I really feel like they are like willing to do anything just to you know keep the relationship alive and to make it work. So this is really beautiful energy. Let's uh, take a look at this judgment energy for the month of May. Oh yeah, chariot. <laughs> Man, definitely stuff is happening here. We also have the Queen of Cups again, Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So if there was anything, um, you know, this Ten of Pentacles is giving me a little bit of Capricorn energy, you know, maybe a little bit of Devil energy, um, and not Devil in the sense that it has to be toxic. I just feel like it's not in the right place. You know, there, there's something that needs to kind of move forward, and it, that is happening in May with this, you know, Seven of Swords moving towards this Six of Swords, moving forward, letting go of the... Um, letting go of the, you know, with this fertility, it's like maybe there are some our arguments that are happening without too much of a purpose, um, or it's like, it's like letting go of anything that is kind of sabotaging the relationship, be it internal, be it external, and I do feel like there is a little bit of both, and I really feel like things are moving forward. Queen of Cups and Chariot, there's a strong um, cancer energy. So you could be dealing with a cancer uh, specifically, um, or it could just be like any water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I definitely feel that there is like a lot of love being expressed here. And there is a lot of movement forward. I feel like for some, there could be some sort of um, physical move. So if you're at a distance from this person, there could definitely be some um, movement here for you to meet each other. If you're thinking about moving in together or moving to a new house or something like that, that could definitely be happening here. And it's interesting because um, I just did Earth's, uh, Earth Signs reading and it, there was something similar to this. So 
um, maybe check it out, you know, because you do have that Taurus energy there. So I definitely feel like things are moving forward here in this connection, and I feel like they are becoming a little bit more alive between the two of you. You know, judgment is all about let's wake up, you know, and I feel like that is definitely happening here. And it's almost like there's a little bit of transformation to it. So, and it's transformation for the good. I really feel like I have to kind of clarify that because I feel like for some of you, you could be a little bit afraid of the change. It's like that towards side could be so used to the routine, could be so used to um, even being, oh, look at that, we have a reconciliation here. Um, being me, myself, and I, if you were in separation from your person, it's like things are shaking up, things are moving forward. What do I do now? Am I ready for this? Am I not ready? And you are, okay? And things are really moving forward for the better. And I almost feel that there could also be a little bit of fear of, oh, but are we going back to the past? Are you going to repeat the same things? You are not, okay? If you are in a relationship, I'm used to the routine of how things are right now. Do we really have to shake things up? I feel like deep down you may actually want it, you know? And I feel like once you shake things up, it doesn't have to be anything too big, you know? Um, it could be just about, I don't know, going to a museum instead of going to a park. <laughs> Has a date, you know? Um, I feel like just changing things up could really propel this relationship forward. And um, I was cutting the deck. This could be the one. That is beautiful. So let's see here. Is there um, anything else that we need to know? Any other messages? Potential outcome here for this situation? So we do have soulmate, beautiful. Anything else? All right. Oh yeah, religious factors. Man, I kind of feel like it's about let the universe kind of guide this situation. We have soulmate and then we also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And it's, it's almost like the divine timing is coming in now. It's like the time is now. Now things are moving. So whatever is happening in this connection, go with the flow. You know, be open to the universe and trust the universe. Trust your guides that they are guiding this connection. They are taking this connection exactly where it needs to, to go, okay? I really feel like this connection is super supported. We did have this could be the one over there. So um, I really feel like this is a beautiful connection worth going for. And it's, man, it's happening. It's happening, okay? Either it is a reconciliation, either it is... Um, like the development of a current situation, uh, of a current relationship, it's worth it and it's happening in a beautiful way, okay? So relax, relax. So let's finish this up with some messages and advice from the universe. Yeah, go with the flow. We also have your wishes are coming true. We have belief, the situation is not what it seems and you are not alone. I really feel like the second things start changing or when things are not happening how you were expecting them, I feel like you start freaking out, um, you know, because Taurus, they like plans, like any other earth sign. <laughs> so I feel like when things start to get out a little bit of the plan, you're like, oh no, oh no, this is not, this, this, is, this is failing and this is not going anywhere. And it's quite the opposite. Things are not working according to plan because things are going in the right path. Okay, things are happening exactly how it's supposed to. Okay, um, so your riches are coming true. Believe in that. Trust the universe. You are not alone. You're being guided. And just be open to going with the flow. Okay, just, just try it. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's going to be an intense month. But just try to go with the flow. Spend more time with yourself. Um, connecting with yourself. Maybe meditating a little bit. Just try to breathe. Okay, so... Towards Gemini, this is what I have for you. If you're interested in power reading, the link is going to be down below. Haswell has a five-year journal in case you want to connect with yourself and um, dive a little deeper into your subconscious mind. The link is going to be there um, in the description box. And don't forget to smash like button and to subscribe if you haven't already, okay? So I love you very much. I wish you the freaking best and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.